This is Eagle Al, and today I'll be talking about Dan Cilio. He's back trolling the Eagle fans again, saying Dak is a hundred times better than Jalen Hurts. And also, I want to talk about Nick Sirianni saying how smart Jalen Hurts is in the locker room and the meeting rooms. Like this kid, it's intelligence is just on another level, but let's get straight into it. All right, so let's go over the, the foolery first. Let's go over Dan Cilio. Yes, he's back. You know, Jalen Hurts had him quiet, had him quiet for a whole year. So now that it's been this Dak versus Jalen Hurts thing all over Twitter for the past week. And I think the reason why we've been hard on Dak, us Eagles fans, is because we don't really like Cowboy fans. And last offseason, they was destroying Jalen Hurts, trying to come at him, come at him, come at him. And then Jalen Hurts just had this unbelievable year. We lost the Super Bowl. They back trolling us again. We like, y'all haven't been there. You know what? Let me let Dan Celio speak his mind. And we're going to go over what he said. Let's see if he say some facts in here. So I'm going to tell you this. As we get ready for the 2023 season, I love Eagle fans, man. They think Jalen Hurts is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. Based off that is. He had a better season two years ago. Again, when Dak Prescott threw for 37 touchdowns and 4,400 yards and 10 picks, nobody was saying that. He had a bad year last year, and everyone's under the impression that Jalen's better than him all of a sudden based on one year. This guy has done nothing to say he's better than Dak Prescott. Prescott's 8-3 and three versus the Eagles. He owns them. But yet, Eagle fans think Jalen's better. There's nowhere on the planet nobody thinks that. Big Sills, out. Man, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Nobody I ain't see it. The, the soundboard said it. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. No. All right. All seriousness, um, the only point he really had is that, and I will give it to Dak, he is 8-3 and three against the Eagles. That's really good. But nobody ever give that 8-3 and three context. He's beating us when we was on the rise. He had Zeke. He had Mari Cooper. They gave him this, this team to win. They gave him a win-now team. They gave Jalen Hurts a win-now team, got us to the Super Bowl. Hell, they gave Carson Wentz a win now team. And not only Carson Wentz going down, the backup took him to the Super Bowl and won. What I'm saying is that you can surround Dak Prescott with a lot of weapons and he will beat the NFC East. But when it comes to the playoffs and getting to the promised land, which is the Super Bowl, he can't do it. I'm sorry, last year, that team was not supposed to lose to Brock Purdy. Dak Prescott was not supposed to put up 12 points. And you know one of them losses with them 8-3? and three? You know it was Carson Wentz and full of backups? And they was like, Dak, win this game, you win the division, you go to the playoffs. But you got to beat them in Philly. He could not win that game against a bunch of backups. A bunch of backups. Eagles had no place of being in the playoffs when we played the Seahawks and lost. Y'all was supposed to be there playing whoever. And y'all still lost to us. Again, Dak would beat up on the Washingtons. He beat up on the Giants. He beat up on the weak Eagles. But he ain't all that. He's not all that. Remember, I think two years ago right he was he he swept the division I, I believe but he lost like five games outside of the division and that's when the division was weak that's when Jalen when it was what Jalen Rager and these and those dudes 
Again, Dak Prescott, he ain't it. And now we seen when the division was at its best last year. It was at its best. Washington playing its best. Giants playing its best. Cowboys playing its best. Eagles playing its best. And we got to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we lost, but we got to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure the division is going to be um, heavy competition going into this year. And again, competition scares off Dak. Pressure bust pipes. And that Prescott can't handle the pressure. Now, Dan Celio is probably doing this for clicks, likes, views, and all this and all that. Probably get on his show and say something totally different. But he knew that can't handle pressure. Hell, if I was a Cowboys fan, the game I mentioned that that they lost against the Eagles and is full of backups, I would have won him out right then and there. Like, how do you lose that game? How do you lose a game full of backups? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're not supposed to lose that game. Wasn't supposed to lose the games to the 49ers. And I'm even hearing this is a make or break year for that Prescott. So. I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. His future might be done in Dallas. Maybe he goes somewhere else and they sell. But that team. It's not doing it for him. And they gave him everything at one point. Zeke in his prime. Amari Cooper playing at a high level. The best or the second best O-line. You had a top tier defense. At one point, it was C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper on the same team. And Zeke playing at a high level. And still couldn't do nothing with that. Still couldn't do nothing with that. We give Jalen Hurst, you know what? We're just going to give you another receiver. Sprinkling a, a couple other guys. And let's see how it work. And Jalen Hurts, again, took him to the promised land. Nobody expected that. People's like, if the Eagles won the playoff game, that's a success. We won two. And Cowboy fans keep mentioning this. Our quarterback won two playoff games. Your quarterback won two playoff games. Well... Our quarterback only started for what about two years. Your quarterback started for about eight, nine years and got two play. The math ain't mathing, my boy. The math ain't mathing. But let's talk about Nick Sirianni. So this is what Nick Sirianni had to say about Jalen Hurts. I sit in on our meetings right now in the QB room, and it feels like I'm not sitting in a position group meeting. I feel like I'm sitting in a coach's meeting. That's how smart about our offense that Jalen Hurts is. Now, that's something very, very good to hear. I know when you go into the offseason and a player sometimes – they want to take a break from football. They want to step away. It's been a long season, injuries, this and that. But Jalen Hurts seemed like a guy that's obsessed with football. Like he think about it 24-7, 365. And that's what I love about Jalen Hurts. Now, Kirk Cousins was on the show on Netflix and how he said when the all season come around, he don't like to think about football. Now, if Kirk Cousins was a wide receiver saying that. I'm like, okay, he's a wide out or a running back. But I want my quarterback obsessed with football. It's like having an accountant, but the accountant only like doing accounting during tax season. You want your accountant obsessed with numbers, how to get you out of taxes. You want him studying that 24-7 because you want to avoid as much taxes as possible or something in that matter. So that's what I want from my quarterback, per se, saying that in sport. I want him obsessed because I want him to find ways to win. The game is evolving. I want to work on his weakness, build on his strength. That's just my personal opinion. I, if I was a Vikings fan hearing my quarterback say that, it would piss me off. But I love to hear that my quarterback 
when the Eagles is obsessed with football and obsessed with winning. I don't want to hear them saying, like, oh, let's let's take a break, which sometimes a break is cool a week or two. But to take months off and then when training camp is still coming around, then you locked in. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. But I say all that to say this. I'm just not surprised that Jalen Hurst is just as smart as a coach. Simple as that. But hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel about a uh, little news today? Or this is somewhat old news. That Prescott being 100 times better than Jalen Hurts. No way. And Nick Sirianni praising Jalen Hurts. But this is Eagle Al. 